Hello, hello, Simon Kemp from Kepios here, bringing you 10 essential takeaways from our huge new Digital 2024 Global Overview Report. As always, you can read all 560 pages of the full report, together with my comprehensive analysis, completely for free, over on datareportal.com. But this video will guide you through the top headlines and trends in this latest update to our Global Digital Report series. Starting in reverse order at number 10, videos tagged with the hugely popular FYP hashtag on TikTok have amassed a mind-boggling 55 trillion combined views. Even if each of those views only lasted for one second, they would add up to a staggering 1.7 million years of cumulative watch time. But FYP isn't the only blockbuster hashtag on TikTok, and each of the tags in the top 10 has delivered more than 5 trillion views. Even XYZ BCA has enjoyed more than 4 trillion views, while a hashtag with FY followed by 23 Ps is rapidly closing in on the trillion views mark. And all I can say there is, if you know, you know. And we're sticking with TikTok for story number 9. Some great intel from Data AI reveals that the platform is now the clear leader amongst social media apps when it comes to average time per user. Our latest report shows that TikTok users now spend an average of 34 hours per month using the platform's Android app, which is almost 6 hours more than second-placed YouTube, which averages slightly over 28 hours per month. Now, these latest figures suggest that TikTok users spend an average of more than an hour per day using the platform, but Data AI's analysis suggests that just 6 in 10 TikTok users open the app every day. Now, that's roughly the same frequency that we see for Facebook, YouTube and Instagram though, and only WhatsApp enjoys a meaningfully higher frequency of use. In at number 8, a number of social platforms have posted impressive user milestones over the past few months. Shortly after revealing that it had 750 million monthly active users, Snapchat recently announced that it now has more than 400 million daily active users. And we've got some great new data on Snapchat's ad audience in the full Digital 2024 report as well. Meanwhile, China's Weibo has passed the 600 million monthly active user mark, with this figure suggesting that more than half of the country's online population now accesses the platform every month. And while Discord hasn't published any new user figures over the past year, third-party data suggests that the platform's user base has grown significantly. The latest official figure stands at 150 million, but data from companies like SimilarWeb, SEMrush and Data AI suggests that the latest total could be well over double that figure. Story number 7 is that LinkedIn now has more than 1 billion registered members. Data published in the platform's own tools shows that marketers can now reach 1.03 billion users with LinkedIn ads, thanks to year-on-year -year growth of almost 14%. And for context, that growth suggests that roughly 1 in 8 LinkedIn users only registered with the platform during the past year, with the platform's tools indicating annual growth of 125 million members. However, these figures do not reflect active users, and Kepios analysis indicates that just 1 in 3 LinkedIn users visits the platform each month. Next up, data from Statista shows that digital now accounts for 70% of global ad spend. Across all channels, marketers spent more than a trillion dollars on ads in 2023, and close to 720 billion of that total went to digital channels. Search continues to capture the greatest share of digital spend, with just below 39% of the total. However, marketers also spent more on social media ads last year, with global investments increasing by more than 9%. And data from Sky.io shows that social ad spend continues to increase, with investments in the last three months of 2023 up by 15% year-on-year. In at number 5, Instagram is now the world's favourite social platform. The latest research from GWI reveals that the platform has overtaken WhatsApp to take top spot in the global affinity rankings, and 16.5% of working-age social media users now say that Instagram is their favourite. Facebook still ranks third, but it's now tied with WeChat, which also captured 12.8% of the vote. And TikTok ranks fifth. Now, with just 7.4% of the vote, TikTok is still some way off the leaders, but GWI's data shows that affinity for the platform is growing steadily. This quarter's number 4 is that the world's internet users are spending less time watching TV. 
GWI reports that average daily television viewing has fallen by 8% over the past year, with the typical working age internet user shaving 17 minutes off their daily TV diet since this time last year. Now, somewhat surprisingly, streaming actually saw bigger declines than broadcast TV over the past year. However, streaming time has now returned to roughly the same levels that we saw prior to the pandemic, whereas broadcast TV is a long way down from its historical highs. Now, overall, streaming now accounts for roughly 44% of daily TV viewing, and this share has remained relatively stable over the past two years. Story number three this quarter is that the size of TikTok's ad audience is rapidly closing in on that of Instagram. Our analysis of data published in each company's own tools shows that TikTok's global ad reach now stands at 1.56 billion, which is just a few million behind Instagram's 1.65 billion. However, TikTok only reports ad reach for audiences aged 18 and above, and if we focus our comparison on the adult reach of these platforms, the figures are almost identical. However, there is a lot more to this story than the headlines suggest, so be sure to check out the full report to get the complete picture. And our second top headline this quarter is that people are spending more time using the internet. This time last year, one of our top stories was that daily internet use had declined. However, GWI's research shows that the time that we spend using the internet has increased by 1% over the past year, and the typical user now spends 6 hours and 40 minutes per day online. For perspective, that average of 400 minutes per day suggests that humanity will spend a combined total of almost 1.5 billion years using the internet in 2024. But our top story in January 2024 is that there are now more than 5 billion social media users. Kepios analysis reveals that social media user identities have grown by 266 million over the past year, taking the global total to 5.04 billion at the start of 2024. And for perspective, that figure grew by an average of 8.4 new users every second in 2023, but our analysis reveals that it grew even faster in the last three months of the year. So, even if media headlines continue to declare the death of social media, the data clearly tell a very different story, and it looks like we're all set for another year of strong social media growth in 2024. That's all we've got time for in this Top 10 Takeaways video, but don't forget that you can dig deeper into all of these stories and loads more of our latest insights over on datareportal.com. If you've got any questions about the content that I've covered today or what these numbers might mean for you, just pop those in the comments or send me a message on LinkedIn. Many thanks as always to We Are Social and to Meltwater for making these global digital reports possible, and to our wonderful data partners for allowing us to share their valuable insights. And thanks to you for joining me today too. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you again for our next round of insights.